Hillsborough, a carnival canvas. A city all day, rich with two of the most lyrical, if not always comprehensible accents of our still green and pleasant land. And together, these two sets of supporters have produced a warm and friendly atmosphere so needed, as each of us has our own private thoughts of the tragedy of three years ago, with continued sympathy for those who suffered and who still suffer so much. We await the arrival of the teams, led out by Neil Mitchley, the match referee, Sunderland on the left, Norwich on the right. Wonderful reception. Malcolm Crosby, the Sunderland manager, what surely isn't a title on semi-final day, decides not to risk Gary Bennett, who has missed four matches, otherwise the side is as expected. Two of their number would have been hugely interested in the uh, first semi-final, Kevin Ball and Paul Hardiman came to Sunderland from Portsmouth. They're a side strong in midfield, where they have both youth and experience, the latter quality personified by their captain, Paul Bracewell. And there's a nice contrast in styles between the front two. David Stringer, the Norwich City manager, as three years ago in the semi-final at Villa Park, loses key players, David Phillips and Ian Crook and the suspended Darren Beckford but Robert Fleck plays after recovering from two broken ribs in under three weeks, courtesy of what looks like a space capsule but the treatment is brought on by the use of 100% oxygen well they've tried a number of different permutations during the course of this season and this is the one they're going to use today with Ian Culverhouse as the spare man playing at the back and they tend to play three up front I'm sure it's a bit of a gamble playing Robert Preck it's such a short time to recover from such an injury that he sustained in the quarterfinal replay against Southampton but 18 goals, he's their top scorer his opposite number John Byrne has managed to score in every round of this cup competition his total is 13 and to that must be added 7 while he was a player at Brighton here's the man in charge Neil Midgley who curiously was the referee when these two teams met at Wembley in the Milk Cup final in 1985 is the man who may well bother Sunderland Raw Fox noted for doing different things he's got pace as indeed has Fleck and with them up front young Chris Sutton and here I think the key man for Sunderland certainly was in the quarter final against Chelsea particularly at Sanford Bridge when he really rescued his team. Got the draw there and then won a very, very tight replay indeed. Mass of uh, balloons all over the pitch. A bit of work here for the uh, ground staff. All the balloons, as far as I can see, are green and yellow. And while they burst a few balloons, with me a man who's burst a few nets at this time, Bobby Charlton. Well, very exciting prospects, the semi-final. Wembley just round the corner, and both sides with passionate support.